Are you okay? Let's have a look. Hello everyone, Florian Heiser here and welcome to another episode of Heiser Says. Grab your Stein of coffee. Today is Are You Okay Day, a day where well, you're encouraged to reach out to others and to start conversations to ask if they're okay. The aim is to normalize those conversations because, well, as a man, people don't really care, to be quite frank. If you're going through tough times, if you're, you're struggling, if, if you're depressed, if life is just weighing upon you, if you've got the burdens of the world on you and you think there's no way out, people don't care. That, that's the, the real truth of it. The, there's all this discussion of men being vulnerable and that stuff, but I don't know how accurate that is. There is an expectation that you, uh, you know, to be somewhat stoic, to handle the burdens of life and to just get through these challenges. And, well, that's why charities like Are You Okay? I think are a great idea to empower and encourage conversation, to get people talking about these things. It's a harm prevention charity that encourages people to stay connected and have conversations that can help others through difficult times in their lives. Now, if you have friends that you can reach out to and that you can talk about these type of things, that's a rare thing indeed. And you'll learn, what, you'll realize who your real friends are and who your real family is when you're going through dark times. But sometimes people don't even want to be helped and they need to work through things themselves. The aim of this is to stop people making drastic, stupid, and well, life ending or changing decisions. And we're going to see more and more of those with, well, the continued construction apocalypse. So I thought, well, what, what can I do? A little YouTuber. I'll, I'll share three things that helped me when I was going through some tough times. And, well, I'd recommend to all of you as well, if you're not familiar with it. And honestly, considering the average age of the viewer here, there would be many viewers of the channel who've gone through tough times. You know, it's just a part of getting older. And often you go through these challenging times, you come out of it stronger and better for it. That's why when people are talking about businesses collapsing and going down, the idea of someone, you know, or losing a whole lot of money or a partner leaving them, the idea of that being the end of their entire life, you know, that's when someone tells you there is a rosy picture at the end. It, it does get better, but sometimes you just have to push through. So I thought, what are three suggestions I could give? Three, three simple things that I'm sure most of you are familiar with, but you never know. The three ones would be, well, Number one was Stoicism as the philosophy. I'd encourage you to, to look at that, to look at that. To, if all you can control are your, well, your responses to how the world is treating you, that's all you can control. You can't control other people. And most of the things we discuss about here on the channel, we can't control the Reserve Bank. You can't control what the banks are going to do. We can barely control, not even at all, what the politicians are going to do. And social media can feed you so much negativity and rubbish that it can really overwhelm you. That's why you see content creators who are just talking about, you know, doomer, doomer, doomer all the time. And they're in tears, crying, and all of that stuff about it. Where, well, you need to take a stoic approach to it. Appreciate what burdens you can, or only take on the burdens that you can actually influence. And you'd be surprised how little you can influence. <laughs> I'd start with Marcus Aurelius, Aurelius Meditations if you haven't already. You can get it here for free from Project Gutenberg. It's a fantastic read. It's quite good to read. I'd recommend it. And there's Ryan Holiday has other books as well, and you can find YouTube videos about it. Go on. Check it out. Now, the second thing I'd point you all towards, get outside, exercise, be fit, go for walks, go hiking, do weights, do whatever you can to get active. You'll always feel better after doing it. Every time. You may not want to. You may not feel like, oh, I won't go to the gym. Oh, I won't go out. Oh, I won't go for that bush walk. But you'll never regret it after you do it. Um, All Trails, hashtag not sponsored, is a little app. You can find hiking tracks everywhere. Just go out there, exercise, see the world, and well, de-stress as well. It's another thing. If you're always hooked into all this, this social media and rubbish and that's adding to a lot of your issues, cut it out and just get away and focus on what actually matters and get fitter. 
work on your health. That's what you can do. It's free. The dividends are, <laughs> are priceless and go on for the rest of your life. Get it sorted. That's the, the second suggestion I would give to you. I know it's easier said than done, but, but all you have to do is just start walking. Start walking. And the third thing. The third thing for us was, well, we also were working on our diet. We had a terrible sugar addiction. We were eating the standard Australian diet, and we had a family member who managed to cure his need for insulin by going to a low-carb diet. We got it, and I think I lost, what, 20 kilos? I put a few more on now, and I'm working back down again. But I, I know I can do it. I'm confident that I can. So I'd, I'd suggest you look at that. Look at low-carb down under as an approach. Get your health under control. Get your diet under control. If other things are going wrong in your life, if you can get control of your diet, it's not going to be that hard. You just need to make some decisions and take control throughout all the crap. Just eat healthy, eat less if you have to, and just buy the healthy stuff. Get out there and exercise and start reading, studying, and looking at uh, stoicism. So, I mean, that's my little attempt here to share some advice that I would give to someone who is not doing too well. I would also recommend you get professional help and well, don't be afraid to reach out to people and talk to them. But I mean, this is all, this is all I can do as a YouTuber, guys. What suggestions would you give to people? What have you done to get through dark times or depression or those type of things? Um, I've had friends who have gone to professional help when they've needed it, uh, and you know, it's something that you should not be afraid or embarrassed to do. But the problem is. A lot of us are men, and that's exactly how it's going to be. You're going to spend more time, you know, maintaining your car or doing other things and focusing on your health. At the very least, if you can, you know, study philosophy, work on your fitness and your diet, if those are the three things that you can get control of in your life, you can build from there. And just focus on that. If that's all you need to focus on. So there you go, guys. Let me know your thoughts and opinions on that one. On this topic, what suggestions would you give and what advice would you give someone? Uh, maybe another viewer who's coming to the channel sees this. What comments would you leave for them? What would you get them to do? I mean, you can buy secondhand weights. Maybe you need to set micro goals like every day, one thing that you can achieve. Anyway, take care. Thanks for watching. Check out my other channels. Heiser Says uh, International and Heiser BIM. If you want to support us, you can financially via YouTube or Patreon using our referral links, buying our pocket squares, or calling us if you need an architect. Take care, everyone. Have a great day. And I'll see you next episode. Take care, lads.